Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Merry Christmas Eve to those that are watching. Merry Christmas if you guys celebrate. Today we are talking about how this hasn't been a Merry Christmas for Ethan Klein. That is for sure. This past week has been anything but jolly and full of laughter and it honestly seemed like this whole month has been one big disaster for him and his family. Earlier this week, Ethan announced that his channel had been striked because of all these trolls that have been hating on him and reporting his channel and he won't be able to post for a week, which pretty much means like he won't be able to post until the new year. And he posted this on Twitter. He said, our final Christmas podcast that we've been planning for a month will not be happening. We just randomly got a strike because a video we reacted to over a year ago was deemed too dangerous to watch they won't even tell me what it was can't upload for a week part one ironically the videos we watched can all still be found on youtube as age restricted so i don't understand why the heavy hand for us at team youtube please reconsider your decision it is a tremendous negative effect on our business and community during a important time and finally a congratulations to all the trolls that have been mass flagging every video we've ever Ever made with any luck you'll have our channel erased by Christmas so Ethan super super upset over this whole thing he continued after YouTube replied looking into this for you he said YouTube denied the appeal can't upload for a week that's the way it goes when you dedicate your life to YouTube have 10 full-time employees owe rent on your studio and have thousands of paying members you get banned for an old video that nobody cared about until trolls mass reported it and he continued, what's absolutely stupid is that if I made a video complaining about it and made it to the front page of Reddit, they would 100% reverse the decision. Why do they put me in that situation? I just don't have the energy right now. Just a horrible effing week. So many creators were in agreement that the system is unfair. And even Ethan's mom posted about it on TikTok to try and spread the word on the strike and how this situation just totally sucks. Ethan later in the week announced that everything just got worse for them as the Teddy Fresh offices had a COVID outbreak and thus they couldn't even film an episode if they wanted to since they don't want to put the crew at risk. He later on tweeted out saying, We were planning to record our Christmas special this week and air it next week. But since The Grinch is working overtime this year, we found out today that we have a COVID outbreak in our Teddy Fresh offices, which contaminated our studio. So we can't film until next year. Everyone is fine. Don't worry. Just being safe. So we'll have a banger comeback episode next month. Hope you all have an amazing holiday. Miss you guys. And I'm so sorry we couldn't finish out the year like we wanted. But thank you all for an amazing year. We love you guys. So Ethan is truly going through it. I mean, it's super cruel and upsetting to hear about the fact that a lot of people have been mass flagging his channel and thus he got a strike and it's very confusing because there are situations where YouTube makes decisions and it doesn't really make sense because he's saying that the reason why he got a strike was because the video that he was reacting to on his channel like he does for a lot of videos was deemed too dangerous to watch but that video that he was watching that is you know supposedly too dangerous to watch was a YouTube video and that video is still up that video is only age restricted that video wasn't striked down it wasn't taken down off the internet so he doesn't understand why YouTube decided to give him the strike if they're leaving the other video up and the other video is just age restricted he's saying you know why couldn't our video just get age restricted but no I'm being punished now I can't post for a week and now because of all the things that are going Going on in the Teddy Fresh office, they can't post for another week. And that is just very, very upsetting to them. You know, he's saying that he has all these employees that he has to pay. This is his business. And for them to be able to affect his business like this is just super effed up. And it's definitely not a good time for him. He obviously said, you know, this is a horrible effing week. It just keeps getting worse for him. Um, Family drama and then this um, drama. It definitely is a really really bad situation the only good part of this week is that youtube did eventually remove the strike ethan tweeted out just found out youtube removed the strike it's too late to do the episode sadly especially with the covid scare but thank you everyone for caring so much it makes the whole thing more bearable thank you at team youtube and my rep and whoever high up the food chain who had some sense in them but the week took a turn once again because Ethan's favorite mukbanger and the person that he is interviewing next month 
Nick Okado Avocado posted this video, H3 Podcast, my response. And I just knew, I just felt it, you guys, that something was just not gonna be right with this video. I felt the drama coming and that's surely what Nick brought because he's dramatic. So, you know, for sure he was gonna bring that drama. And just by looking at the thumbnail, come on. I mean, I knew that something was gonna go down in this video and he was venting. Today, we are gonna be discussing Hildy and Ethan Klein from H3H3. They have made so many videos about me. They are, they are just so desperate, but I guess excited too. He was not holding back at all because he was reacting to Ethan and Ela's episode of H3 After Dark, where they were confirming that he was actually going to be on as a guest, that he was in fact going to fly out to LA to be interviewed by them on their channel. And he said that he was not happy with the fact that Ethan was airing it out, how big of a diva he was and saying all that Nick had requested before actually agreeing to being on their channel. And if you guys didn't see, I made a video on this because there are so many people that were like, why is Nick acting like this? He is not a big celebrity, yet he has all these demands, all these requests that he needs to be on H3's channel. And Ethan was like, I've had A-list celebrities on my show. I have really big stars on here and nobody has ever had the request that Nick Okado has. And this comment in itself had Nick, oh my goodness, over the top, super, super upset. And he just went off. He's a little bit of a diva. <laughs> What's so funny, Hildy? How dare you say to all your subscribers that I'm a diva, that I've had to negotiate, that I'm having all these extra terms, and I'm, you know, blah, blah. Is that necessary to say to anybody? He's already looking to start conflict. I don't have to go on your show. I really don't. Excuse me, I was honest and upfront, and I said, listen, if I'm gonna go do all these things and leak, fly halfway across the country, I'm not doing it on my, my dime. For what? And all these people in the comments saying, it's really inappropriate for him to ask for all this stuff. It's just so effing gross. He's doing all this stuff for clout. He should be great grateful. Grateful I get more views than them. I should be grateful to fly halfway across the country, leave my job, leave my schedule, my family, to go give you more clout. He's, all, he's made five videos about me. I've made one in response. He still did agree to go on the show. He's still down to be interviewed by them. And he seems to find it, you know, kind of like funny and like adorable that the crew is like super interested in him. And he is trying not to take things super personally when they're talking about him. He is really just trying to take it as they're really curious about him and his life and his content and trying not to be offended by the things that they're saying about him and thinks that it's just all out of curiosity, which I think it is. Olivia loves him. If you guys have been watching H3, Olivia Olivia loves Nick Okado and she doesn't want Nick to hate her at all. Like, I think that's her biggest fear. But Ethan is like so curious. He is so excited to meet Nick and ask him all these questions. And Nick is like a little freaked out by it, but I think he does think it's kind of adorable that they are so obsessed with him. So listen, Ethan, I think you're really nice. Okay, I like Hildy too, but come on. I'm not saying it. You made a video about me talking about my weight, my physical appearance, yada, yada, yada. And then you're like, well, he's really funny. Let's get him here. So if I'm going to ask you to have some type of payment, he's asking more than any A-list celebrity. Oh, really? Oh, really? I don't owe you nothing. I get more views than, me, than you. I'm doing my own business. It's an income. It, both those people that show up on your show, Ethan, are people that probably live in LA, because most people live in, right, all the YouTubers, people say to me, oh, why are you not in LA? You're a YouTuber, you should be there. I'm not. And obviously they just probably want to ask about my weight, and but like that, you're acting like this is going to be a sit down Oprah, monumental, like profound, groundbreaking interview. <sighs> They're probably just going to make a mockery or try to get clicks off me because I'm mental. Okay, well then you pay for that and don't say, He's a diva, he's asking for all this stuff. And he still is calling Ela the wrong name and calling her Heidi and Hilda. But he says that Ela was laughing about it in the video, so he's gonna keep it up. So that's pretty much what's going on with them. The beef is continuing. I definitely think that the episode that they're going to do together is going to be so interesting now that all this is going on and that, you know, 
he has expressed his anger towards some of the things that they've said about him, it's definitely going to be interesting. And I hope that he does keep it real when he is interviewed and doesn't put on like this fake character. I really hope it's a good interview. So I'm excited for them because I know that they're excited to interview him. I definitely want to know what you guys think about this and everything that happened with Ethan this week. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas if you guys celebrate once again. And I will talk to you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.